Good morning from Seattle. Let's see if I can get this right today. There we go. Okay. So today, I'm going to just go through all the junk I've been making for this cooking journal and then finish up the decoupage that I have sitting here and then we can move on to putting it in. Ooh, that's the fun part. That's the fun part. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Okay. So let me get my box of junk here. I put everything in a box. It's not pretty, but it's just what I do. Because it works. <sighs> not so much sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, I have too much stuff sitting here. It's the problem, quite obviously. Okay. I gotta dig down here and see now. I got stuff down here I still need to use. Ah, I got a lot of work still to do. Because I gotta cut these out and sew on them and do stuff to them. And I wanna find some, and I gotta cut these out. And I wanna find some plates on Pinterest or somewhere, because I need plates. And I just have all this extra paper, can you see this? Oh, I'm all about this right now. Maybe I should just cut these out. I just want some little plates and little things, so I might just cut these out. We'll see. We'll see, my lovelies. Okay, so let me log in, and then we'll go through all this junk. <laughs> I made some stuff, too, in between, you know. <clears throat> I'm still coughing, so I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, good morning. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Don. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Hi, Steph. Hi, Lori. Okay. Oh, I ran out of white thread on this one. <laughs> I gotta sew that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna attempt to get organized while I do this. Hmm, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> hmm, let's see. So that's gonna be hard to see like that, the big mess, right? So let's do it like this so it's a little bit easier. I did that one time and you know, I always leave my ink open. I don't know, I just do. Because I'm using it constantly. One time my ink got on there. So that was a bummer. So I do shut it more now. <laughs> okay. Cold morning. I just walked my doggy. I've been working in here a lot. I'm a little bit dirty, but not too bad, I guess. All right, so... All right, so the first thing we were doing is these. And I haven't even went back to even do more of these. But I will. And we can all come up with our new ways of doing these. There's so many ways of doing these. But I have videos on all this stuff. You just got to go look if you missed it. So these were just... I was making coin envelopes, with, but they ended up having all these cool tuck spots. So we got two spots and then an envelope. And then on the back, there's a tuck too. I was trying to make something for these ball jars, all right? So we got these. I know a lot of you seen this cause you follow me, but, but some of you haven't. And then we made a double ended. So there's two ends. Kind of this one. I mean, if you were to sew it in or we were thinking of somehow sewing it on the end or I don't know what, you know, 
you have to just figure it out. But I did do tutorials on how to, this is kind of like a wallet, see? I think it's really cool. I love that it's kind of like a wallet. And then it has all these spots that you can fold up or leave in. And you can't really glue this down because it's got too much going on. But it's a cool stuffy. We could put a string around it or ribbon or whatever. And it's got every everything possible you could want. And this one I sewed just to see what it would do and act like and look like. And I don't know. I kind of folded them all of them different. Every one of them is kind of different. I was just having fun seeing what we could come up with, with with these, you know. So this side has two pockets, see? And this side has this kind of envelope and then this. I don't know. We were having a good time with those. So there's all different kinds. Another wallet, you know. But for those of you who haven't seen, I know. But anyway, so it's kind of fun, right? And then here's another one. This one's kind of like food related a little bit. And I put tickets and pictures back there. And then there's a guest check on the inside. I kind of like this one. It actually is kind of a wallet too, but only halfway. I glued this side shut so I could have an actual envelope that closes and all that. But the guest check goes in there got like cake and stuff and food and it's just cute I don't know I like it and then this has a pocket in it with cake on it <laughs> and then the perfect blend it's talking about coffee and whatever so I like to do those that's cute so we did those I'm trying to get organized now is what I'm doing because I know now now I'm gonna take all this stuff and I gotta put it in my book see so I'm trying to figure out now, then that's the next stage. So I'm, I'm seeing where I'm at. You know what I mean? Where I'm at for this stuff. So, oh, here's that movie. I need a Blu-ray player. <laughs> Billy Joe's awesome and sent me a movie and now I can't even watch it. Okay. Then I took some vintage wrapping paper. You know how I love this stuff. It's for your birthday, but we don't care because we like the color and whatever. We just cover up the birthday stuff. And so I just made, they're nothing big, you know. No big deal. But they're just little, this one I put a tomato label on because <laughs> it was the same color. And I just backed it with coffee stain paper and sewed around with white thread. And I just made a couple little booklets. None of this is embellished. That's why I said it's only base work. So we're getting all this base work done. That's what I do. And then I get my journal out and I go page by page. And I look through my junk and see what's going to look good in there. What I made. And this I have no idea. I just like the colors on these colors. So maybe it'll be a flip up or a tip in or a tip out or add on or a <laughs> who knows a card. I could bend it, you know, I don't know. But I like the color and the whole idea. And plus it said happy birthday right there. So I just covered it up. So that's kind of fun. I like the strawberries. Right? And then I did this one with that napkin. This is vintage cookbook pages that I inked up, sewed around, script stamp, and did a front. And now I'm, and then I did a ball jar stamping on the inside. And I am going to sew. This is going to be an extra little journal. You know, it's going to have uh, some extra pages in it here, and maybe. I don't know yet, so we might have to do this too because that needs to be done. I forgot about that. And then I had somebody make me a couple of tags that sent me this fabric, so those are this one's done. And this one, but this one's pink and I'm not using pink right now, so that's going back in the box. Then we made some coffee filters that were inside out so you can see the pattern from the inside. Instead of having it on the outside made a little lapel remember I didn't glue this down yet I'm still looking at it I don't really know what I want to do with it yet 
So it's there. Anyway, I dug out my vintage canning jar labels. So I'm going to put some of those in for more junk. And then I did up a bunch of stuff. That's just sewing is boring to watch, you know. So I'll show you what I did since you were gone. Or I was gone. <laughs> um, so all I did with this is I'm having the same fabric throughout. And it's the um, fabric from the lace cover that's going over my signatures, you know. So I have all this extra. So I'm just putting it in. And then... Who just sent me this? Ah, can't think of the name right now. Just sent this to me. Josie, right? So, it's totally perfect. I would, you know. So, it's going to be going on these pieces here. I, d I don't know. Uh, they're just index cards, white thread, white. And they're just like this. But I have this white lace. And you know all my stuff I got. So, like I said, it's just the base work done. You know, these were coffee stained, sewed around, and I slapped some fabric on it. So I did a couple of those. This one I left so there it's a pocket because this is index card, so it's plenty sturdy. <coughs> and I could put the lace right here. You know, I got to wait and see what page this is going to go on is what I'm doing. So like I always say, I just get all this base work done, and then I, then I go back and embellish. So that'll be the next videos. It'll be fun. <coughs> Embellishing is always fun, you know. It's the fun part. and putting it together and figuring out what page I'm going to put it in and stuff. And then uh, I had these in my shop. They're sold out, but I do have them on order. Trifold time cards. So I copy stained them and I sewed around with blue thread. So that's all I did to these two of them so we'll see where they end up going I don't know yet or even if they'll even go in this I don't know and then I did um I don't know I just had some junk here you know so I just folded it up with some yellow paper on the inside sewed around with blue thread inked it up with vintage photo and then I put a little pocket here with some of those stamps I haven't put nothing in it yet but I'll figure out where it's going to go first and then this side has a little envelope, glossy envelope that's copy stain, and the back has a little glossy bag. You can both get them both in my shop. So it's kind of just a little journaling thing with a pocket, an envelope, and a bag on the back. I like that kind of stuff. It's fun. Then I just sewed around some postcards. I kind of got a car theme going on here a little bit, you know. A little bit, these 50s, you know, and then I put a little bag on the back. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too much on the vehicles, and I should put this in a travel. <laughs> but I have a page in there that's got cars on it, and I don't know. It just goes with it, so. And then, uh, these uh, postcards I left plain. The recipe cards, I mean. Those are plain. You got to mix it up. And these were just pieces out of the stamp books that I thought were cool. I just coffee stained paper on the back and sewed around with blue thread. They're plain. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I kind of like them like they are. I'll ink them up and stamp them and then see where I want to put them and what embellishing I can do. So I got those done, you know, just like I said. And then this is um that little girl drinking coffee ad. I backed it with coffee stained paper, sewed around with black thread. And I love this. Unattended children will be given espresso and a free kitten. <laughs> love that. And then these were just two large ads that I just liked. So I just put copy paper on the back. Ink sewed around with black thread. And which way do I need to go here? Do I need to go this way? Let me look. I got to catch up to my own self. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I must have the iPad backwards today or something. It's so weird. Every day I do this and it's different. I swear to God. Alright. 
So anyway, these are just two square ads. I don't know if I'm going to use them for tuck spots and embellish over the top, or I have no idea what I'm going to do yet, but they're just done. You know, base work is done. These ones I took and sewed around, so we have a little variation of what's going on. These are just some ads that I put coffee paper on the back and sewed around with black thread. I got a lot done. Look at all this. And then these are the finished little, this matte medium is cool though. These are the little booklets we made out of the stamps and this craft paper. It was really thick. I copy stained it and made it all wavy. Screwed that all up, but whatever, I used it anyways and it's just in there. So we glued on the stamps. It's got old tape on it, sewed around with blue thread. And then we put matte medium over it. I really like the way this looks dry now. It, and it does something to it that's different than Mod Podge. And it's not all shiny, but you can tell there's definitely something on there. So that's cool. I like it. So that's just a little booklet -y thing. I haven't decided uh, if I'm going to sew pages into this or not, or just leave it like that. Because uh, this is real thick and, I mean, I think it could handle a few pages. So we'll just see what I end up doing. And then here's another one. Um, this is just the page with no stamps. So I liked that too. It's a good base. And I left this one plain because I decoplaged on some. So we can just, you know, embellish this up later wherever I want to put it. And we'll see. And then we did some tags like that. Just square stamps. That's it. Sewed around blue thread. So we have some of those. And then uh, I got a lot done. And these were from yesterday, so I'll show you these. And I'll show you what somebody sent me. I'm going to put that in. Got all this done. And then we're going to finish it up right now. And then move on to the next stage, which is super fun. I think that's all I got. I have these, but I haven't done much with them yet. Because I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. But see, it fits perfect in my bag. I kind of wanted to make a bunch of these into journals. And now that I know they fit in my bag, I might do a bunch of little big recipe card journals. Ooh, I might have to do that. But look at the stickers. I sell these in my shop. These are um, Glamour ads. And I think those are retro vintage, retro ladies or something like that. But anyways, they didn't really like to stick to the glossy. And I was a little worried. But I put the two magazines down and laid these on top. They're kind of like Tyvek. Uh, you can sew on them and stuff. And then I put matte medium over them. And it looks really good. Like, I... I like it. So this, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just keep it out to remind me. I need to make up a bunch of these because these are adorable and I could do a bunch. I got a whole bunch of these in my shop for sale and I'm giving them away this month um, in every Etsy shop order and the link to my shop is in the description box. Ooh, I like these. You know, and it would be cheaper, you know, a little something, you know what I mean? Everything I make is always so huge and expensive. So maybe I'll make some of those for fun. Then I made these little sliders, and this one I got left out because it's the right color, blue and yellow. So I'm going to put this in somewhere. There's a video on these. Really cute. Just a little piece I'm going to use. And then this is weird, I swear. Oh, no. Okay, good. This matte medium is weird. I've never used it before, but it's weird. I'm just saying. It does something weird to it. It gets the paper wet. So it changes the color of the paper. Like, I can't even explain it. It's really weird. It's cool, though. And then it really gets it wet. Like, I don't know. Because now this napkin on here is, it just looks funky. I love it. I really do love it, actually. It's neat. It gives a whole new everything on there. Love it. 
Anyway, white thread, decoupage, grip stamp, you know, whatever. So, I don't know if I'm going to make it a book or what I'm going to do, but it's cute. <coughs> and then a little sack. Matte medium over it again. And then I just put one of these in. We decoupaged the blue napkin over the top. I haven't even inked the back or done nothing yet. But I figure I'm going to leave these in the little sacks because they're just kind of cute. And I got three of those. We did the... Just threw on some napkins so far. That's all we've done. But I did put matte medium over this. And what I like about it is there's no... If I put decoupage on here, Mod Podge, they would, I would have a line. I would have to decoupage this whole thing because otherwise there would be a line here. Of, oh, this is shiny and that's not. You know what I mean? But this matte medium, you don't have to. I can just put it on this napkin and it doesn't do anything weird. You know what I mean? Like I can just leave this crunchy. But I didn't. I put it on the whole thing. And what I do notice, though, is it's not crunchy anymore. It's got matte medium on it now, so it's not crunchy. The back is, but this isn't. You hear it? See? So, it does change things. It's weird. I never used it before yesterday, so... So, anyways, and then I put yellow flowers over the blue ones, white thread, coffee stain, sewed around. I haven't inked it up yet or decorated any of it. I'm just getting it ready to put in, you know. So, I got three of those done. And then uh, somebody sent me this cute little thing. And I had this napkin, and I didn't use it because I thought, oh, that won't work. But it sure does. And she used blue ink, and it's a little pocket here. You can see the... And inside, she put... Um, this is just cute. A cup of coffee hanging out. See? Or I did that. I don't know where she had it, but I thought it looked good right there. A couple index cards with some cutie little embellishments on it and some yellow fabric. I just think it's so cute. Their little coffee cups, tea cups. And this one was from Martinez. Terry? Is it Terry? Martinez? I think it was. I thought it was a J and it was J. I thought it was Jam, but I think it was Terry. But anyway, and then you flip it over and it's got, you know, tea and honey and little birds. It's going to go in my journal perfect. And then yellow jam jar. And a little apron and a little jar with daisies. You know, a little pocket and stuff. This will be a cute little stuffy. She said, put it in your book. So I'm gonna... I don't know if I want to glue it in or stuff it, but we'll see. It's cute. And then she made this too. I was thinking though, and this is cute too. Look, a little journal. Did some stenciling in there or something. But you know how we make these and glue them down and you can open them up? But hers is glued down. But you know, you can leave it so it's not glued. You know, I always put these in my little books. They're so cute. And then you open it up and you can write a little note in there. But isn't it cute? A little ledger paper and stuff in there. Little booklet and there's a little name down here. Oh, I might want to put this in my friend one. But it's blue and yellow, so I'll... <laughs> So these ones we did yesterday. Um, so uh, I am noticing again that when I put the matte medium on, you know, the crunch is gone, you know, on your paper. But it gives it this different, I am telling you, Michelle, are you here? You got to be, right? Hi, Irene. Hi, Dana. Hi, Deborah. Oh, this is your first video? Oh, really? Oh, man, that guacamole is so good, you guys. Yeah, it's, this is totally different than Maj Podge, Michelle. I love it. It's totally different. And then I rubbed this in silver dew drops as well, remember? But anyways, it gets the paper wet. I'm telling you, this looks like it's wet. You know what I mean? How You know? It's weird. But anyways, I love it. But it's not wet, and it's not crunchy anymore either. This side is, because I didn't get it wet. But, but anyway, cool, right? Okay, so we got that, and we got, uh, uh-oh, look at there, it doesn't stick together too bad either. <laughs> I had them stacked up. So here's just another one, you know, I made a bunch of these, so I got, you know, so I'm going to do a couple. Here's um, mailing instructions, 
This was inside one of those recipe books. I just put a flower on there, blue ink, blue thread. My mom, oh, okay. And then uh, matte medium again, script stamp, napkin, coffee stain. We're going to use that. Here's another one, matte medium, script stamp, blue ink, napkin. This one's got dew drops on it, silver. Probably hard to see in the camera, but cute. And then the tickets that match. And then we got these still to finish and do up. Book pages on the back with gesso. And then um, I'm going to cover up the parts I don't like and, you know, add your frou-frous. So we got all that done. That's quite a bit, hey? Sheesh. That's a lot. I got a whole box of stuff. And that's all got to go in that book. Oh, my God. We'll see. All right, so, and I have all these, too, I haven't done a dang thing with. A whole bunch, you know, tons. I mean, we all got recipe cards, let's face it, so I got a million. Anyways, what I got to do now is... <coughs> I got a couple Rolodex, large ones. I got a couple little mini file folders. And I got a couple guest checks. I can pick it up and then uh, I got this and I want to put the pages in that so that's what I want to do I got this cool napkin with the dishes on it I'm all about it right now I got one so I was gonna do up a bunch of guest checks because I just like the dishes on there can't help it I just like it like that so I'll do up three or four, you know, of the same kind and use them in different books, you know. So I got white cupcake liners. I just order everything anymore. I don't shop in the stores much anymore. Well, I can't get out much right now, but I, it just takes so much time. That's why I like having my shop. <laughs> you can go there and get everything. I gotta start putting all this crap in there too so we don't have to go anywhere else. You can just stay home and order it. I'm telling you what, I get a lot of letters from people saying they can't get out. You know, a lot of us are injured, and, you know, that's why we're sitting on our butts doing this. You know what I mean? So, a lot of them can't get out. I hear it all the time. So, they like it when I put weird stuff in my shop because they can't get it anywhere, <laughs> anywhere else. This is weird. Oh, it's got the car on the back. Oh, well. I like it because it's got food on it, and I was going to staple it on here somehow. I like it when I do the layers, but maybe I should have not done that. I was going to put it on here, but I think I ruined it now. Well, no, maybe not. I think I did, though. Maybe I'll just make it a pocket. I ruined it. Didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Sometimes I layer up, like, if you want to add floral. I like to layer up a bunch of stuff right here. It's kind of fun because then you got all these tuck spots. I'll just do yellow because I got yellow going on. But that's what I was trying to do with this, but it didn't work. Very good. I 
Yellow and blue daisies. Oh, isn't that cute? Forget how I did it. I used to do it where it looked good. <laughs> I used to do it where it looked cute. There. That'll be alright. Because now when I put ephemera in here, I got a couple different spots. So you can tuck here, and then you can put something here, and then you can put something here. Do you see? And then I mess this up. I don't know. It's got yellow thread on it, though, so I like it. Darn it. This has got food on it, though, so I kind of want to use it for a... I was going to sew around it, but I think I will. I got to do it. It's just a little piece. have to because it's bent right there and every time somebody goes to put something in that dang pocket it's gonna bend so I gotta sew it and put something else on the back so it doesn't do that <laughs> give it a little reinforcer And I always use glue stick because you can go right to your sewing machine and doesn't gunk anything up. So if I'm going to go right to sew, then I just use that because the sewing is going to hold it on. You just don't want any bubbles is all, you know. I noticed some spools of thread just aren't wound right. You know, when you get them from the store, they snag, snag, snag the whole way. Somehow it just got messed up, you know, when they were doing the winding. Right here. Liquitex, but I don't like the smell of this stuff, you guys. It's not like it's a strong smell or anything, but it really makes me, like, feel weird. <laughs> weird and woozy. You know? I don't like the... I don't like that. So, I'm gonna look for a different brand next time to see if I can find one that doesn't make me feel weird. <laughs> I'm not trying to get high on fumes, you know. Thank you very much. Because the smell ain't really that bad. It's just, it must be the f some fume, you know. I just don't like it. There, now we got a little pocket on this one. This will be cute. Now you can stuff stuff in there. Stuff stuff. And then you got, you can tuck stuff or stuff stuff. Either way. And I like to put in, you know, this stuff that we've been using. Little things. Be fun. And you can put little tickets in there. Little stuffs. There, that one's cute. 
Okay, this one I want to put more of the cool napkin on. don't have any rhyme or reason. I just rip her up and then just throw it on <laughs> or you'll take all day. I hate it when it does that. That's why I can't do base work and embellish at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I just can't because otherwise then I'll sit here. Oh God, what do I do next? Like, oi, I got to just put <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Some days, I'm telling you what. It's just too many choices, too much whatever. I don't know what the deal is, but I think it's so funny when I see people post in group. <coughs> oh, this tag only took me all day. Because I do that all the time. I hate it when that happens. I love this napkin. I only got one, so I'm using it sparingly. Okay, I like it. Um, I have different colors, but I don't like to use this kind of colors, but I know that I'm gonna have some uh, ahead of time here. I know I'm going to have some of these with this color in it, so if I put ink on it, maybe it won't be so annoying. <laughs> there. I'm doing this. I'm not doing orders today, so anybody who ordered yesterday not doing them today. I feel bad, but I hate it when I have orders sitting there, you know. But it's too many. I can't do them. Sean has to do them. There's a few I can, but I'm really slow. It takes me too long. See, that's way bigger. So if I put it down here, See, now it's got butterflies and flowers. See, I don't like it. Every time I go to use this, I rip it off. Butterflies and flowers. Ew. It's just gooey. It doesn't do anything for me. I don't like goo. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just not... I do like goo, but it's got to be the right kind of goo. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't like the goo. I know Stacy would probably like the goo, though. Mama Bear likes goo. See, with the butterflies and flowers and all the goo. I just threw it. <laughs> I know you like goo, though. But see, I don't. I like this better, and then I can put in the goo in the stuff that I put in there. You know what I'm saying? Because it gives you a plain background. You can't have all the goo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because otherwise, how do you embellish? I couldn't put more goo on. If I do this, I can't put any goo in, you know, for ephemera. <laughs> I would have to put plain. You can't put goo on goo. It just won't go. <laughs> So my feeling is I always leave it plain. This one I didn't, but, you know, I just leave it plain. So I can put in gooey ephemeras and decorate it up with ribbon and stuff. Otherwise, I won't be able to. I just have a thing about it. Okay, I got one more. And I just have to use these. I just have to 
can't help it. It's food related. <laughs> so I'm going to just put it on here. I can't stop myself. But I have this great stamp set and other things I could be doing on these as well. So I'll have to maybe get some more of these out. Guest checks. So that I can do more styles. Right now, I just have a thing about this napkin. <laughs> so, so I'm just letting myself have fun with it. And I'm going to make as many of these as I feel like it. No, I only have, this will be my last one. I only took out a few. Because I just love these dishes on here. Oh! You know what it is, is I'm a waitress. I've always loved to wait tables. I love people, and I love cooking, and I love serving food, and feeding people. You know, I just have a thing about it. So, I love waiting tables. It's just my thing. I have a ball. I don't even care if it's, you know, non-professional or whatever. I just think it's so much fun. I've always loved it. And, um, I make good tips. <laughs> And I just have the best time. You know what I mean? And when I was young, I could really hustle around, you know. And I always, now, it's like when I go into a restaurant, I still remember the cues. I can hear from a distance someone taking their glass and drinking all their pop, you know, on the ice, the sound it makes, their pop's empty. So it always registers to me, oh, they need a refill. <laughs> You know what I mean? I gotta go running over there and give them a refill. Oh, it's so funny, the things, you know. And I really miss it. If I could do it still, I would. You know? If I could do it still, I would. Ah, but I can't. But I do love it. Let's see. See, I just throw everything and then I don't know where it is when I need it. Here it is. I like that better too. But I had so much fun in all my young years traveling all around all the different states waiting on tables and uh, meeting people from all over, you know. And it's funny, you go from state to state to state, how different people are and how they act and how they are and what they eat and you know just the whole dynamics of everything so it's just kind of funny how people are and I was in Alaska too you know wait tables there and I've been to Arizona on Route 66 and waited tables there and in Alaska I was in um, Palmer Wasilla you know Eagle River area and I waited tables at um, well, it was the little hotel in Palmer. It was a hotel, restaurant, and liquor store <laughs> all in one. And it was just so fun. I like, man, giving people eggs and ash browns. <laughs> I don't know what the heck the deal of it is with me, but I just love it. <coughs> so, anyway... Got those done, so there's four of those. Yay! And then one time I was brand new working Frontier Cake and Steak. It was my first place that I actually waitressed where I learned everything I learned. And it was opening deer season and the line of people was out the door around the building. And you know, I'm a frantic type of person, you know, <laughs> oh my God, you know, I'm like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> and I mean, you really do, I mean, I really worked hard when I was young, you know, and uh, man, oh man, I'm telling you what, that was just something else again, seeing all those people lined up, <laughs> oh, so anyways, um, well, I need some paper for this is my distraction here. Hmm, what shall I do? I don't know where this is going to go yet is my issue. And I want 
which I should have done when I sewed it in, but I didn't. I want crunch. So I'm going to have to add some of this. Oh, and I have these. I didn't sew around this yet either. Hmm. Some of this stuff got buried, see? Oh, look at I forgot about these. Well, that's my ephemera anyways. And here's the back of that cookbook. I could still use that. See, I got a lot of stuff to use here. And my piles get... <laughs> big <laughs> let's see what could I do here do we want what do we want I forgot about this whole I made a whole tip in I didn't even put it in yet see I got too much too much here let's see what would go inside here I wonder if one of those recipe cards would fit probably too big but hmm well, I need some paper, so I got to get that. And that's up here. So let me get that. Otherwise, I could put envelopes in it. It might be cute envelope journal. But I'd have to find some that are just coffee. And not a bunch of cutie colors. I could try that out too. Or maybe just plain. I'll bring some so we can look. I got coffee paper or we could put envelopes on the inside. We'll try it. Out. See what we like. The envelopes might fit right in there perfect. Hi Lisa. Yeah, the mom and pop places are always my favorite. That's always the places I went to every single time because I don't know. The corporations is too much training and all this bowl. Like I know how to do it. Just give me the pad. <laughs> I know how to do it. Just give me the pad. I said that to this one guy one time. He was um, Greek in the cities, and you know, they cook some awesome food, you know. Oh, look, that fits right in there. <gasps> so anyways, I walked in the door. It was a mom and pop place, and I'm like, I need a job. <laughs> I was just getting divorced. I said, I need a job, and you know, Greeks, they're real, well, I don't know. Any that I've met, I hate to stereotype, but any that I've met, they're like Italians. They're kind of loud and boisterous and they talk with their hands and there's no BS, you know. They tell you like it is, like literally, you know. And so, um, anyway, I wonder if these will fit inside, huh? They must. I forget how to do this now. Don't we just flip and slip or something like that and put these together like this? How do we do that? I forget. Like this? Is that how we do it? Or did I do it backwards? I forget. Or do we do it this way? Why do we flip it over? Is, don't we flip it over for some reason? I don't know. But anyway. So I walked in the door and I said, I need a job really bad. So, I, you know, he's like, well, I said, I start right now. He says, right now. I said, yep, I'll start right now. Let me work right now. And if I can't make it through lunch, then you don't have to hire me. He says, done. Because, <laughs> see, he figured he would get free. See, they're cheap. He's trying to get free on me. But, nope, I worked my butt off, and I did so freaking good. He made me manager. <laughs> All the girls hated me, though, then, so it was not good. But it was so cool. And it was back, like, when the Spice Girls were big and I had those tennis shoes on with these big, huge, huge, and plus I'm big anyways, you know, and big mouth, you know. <laughs> and he was sitting over there shaking his head, just smiling at me. 
Oh my god, I had so much fun. I just miss those days. Look, it hangs out. Dang it. <coughs> huh? It hangs out a tad. I guess I could put lace on the end of. So I can make this into an envelope. Huh? I... Unless I use smaller envelopes. I'll use smaller, but then it will be too small. But unless I find the perfect size. But that's pretty good. I mean, it's just... I mean... I don't know. Too big or too small? What do you think? You know what I mean? How are we going to do it? Otherwise, i got to sit here and dig through envelopes to find the perfect size. Which I could. But I don't know how fun that would be. Too big or too small? What do we do, girlies? I could just make a tuck spot right here, too, and just tuck it in. And just let it slip, you know? Because this end one, I, just, I was going to just glue it right here and then like this. I guess the too small would be better than too big, huh? So that's what we'll do. We'll just keep adding these in until we're... Forget what I'm doing now. <laughs> Wait, how do I do this? What did I do? I don't even know. Put it in like this. These are awful white. They're not even coffee stained. How am I going to live? That's cute, though. How am I going to do it with their so white? I didn't coffee stain these yet. Now i got to do all this distressing and all this. Unless I can find some in my box. Should I look in my box? Sheesh, you guys want to dig through my box? I got two boxes of coffee stained items that I, I have ready to go at all times. You would think I would have three matching envelopes, right? Let's look. Let's just look. Ooh, but I see this is, well, not kitchen, I guess. Sorry, I know I hit the camera. I didn't mean to. All right. So this is just everything I copy stain and put in here that I know I can use later. Garden stuff. My day. This is not coffee stains. I don't know why it's in here. I was gonna do a cute little pink sack journal, but that don't go in there. Okay, all my Rolodex. Rolodex, Rolodex. See, I got lots of Rolodex. See, I have more guest checks. I could stamp on these. I got some cool stamps. See, like these with the silverware and stuff. And then tea. I don't know. It's pink. I don't like it. Next one. I got all these. I love. I put them in just the right journals. Oh, the small Rolodex. Oh, I didn't know I had those. These right here. Little tiny floral little cards. Oh, my God. They're so cute. Look at all the junk and coffee stain. Look, there's another kind. Anyways, I'm looking for envelopes, I realize. Envelopes all of the same size. I got some big cards. I'll put these in next time. Because I'm doing red. Next one's going to be red. Okay, I'm looking for... Envelopes. Not seeing any. More little pink journals. Come on, I gotta have envelopes in here somewhere. Jeez, I gotta get to using these Rolodex. I didn't realize I had so many. My god. 
Oh, crap. I got to get using these. Oh, here's blue and flowers. I could use a couple of these. Remember these from the one I used? That one I made a little while ago? God, I got so many Rolodex. I didn't realize. Oh, here's my plain filters. Oh, here's some envelopes. Okay, good. But look how small they are. Shoot. Too small. All my small ones, you know, I keep because I got a thing about small envelopes, but these are just too small. Time cards. Oh, here's some big ones. These are too big, I bet. Crap. I bet these are too big. Gonna have to use these small ones. Oh, yeah, they're way too big. Okay, well, it's not looking good, folks. They're either too big or too small. I got a whole nother box, but, uh... Do we want to look through the other box? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think maybe I'll just... <sighs> I think I'll just... Coffee stain these later, I guess, because even if I ink them up, it's still going to be too white. So I'll have to do that later then. And I got these. Now, I can find the stamp I wanted to use on it. I had it sitting right here. So let me just see a minute if it's right here. I don't know where it is, if it fell down or what. Let's see. Hmm. Well, don't see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll find it though. I know it's right here somewhere. I'll well, we'll see. Otherwise, I'll move on to. doing my other thing but dang it I know it's sitting right here somewhere and right here in my stuff maybe I got too much stuff sitting here right now no, I don't see it shoot Let's see if it's in this pile nope there's this pile nope didn't even show you guys this stuff. And then these, I have a whole bunch of these to do. These ones. Where in the heck is that stamp? Dang it. Oh well. It'll turn up and when it does, I guess I'll be ready. Darn it. Alright, I just have too much, so I gotta start putting this stuff in so I can get rid of some of the piles <laughs> because next I'm going to do fabric raggedies. I need some trim little raggedy things. So I'm going to go through. Ooh, these are cute. I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to do with these. I just don't know yet. And these I have to fix. I don't like them. But that's boring to watch, too. Okay, and then... This, dang it! I want that dang stamp. What did I do with it? Shoot. Oh, well. And then I have all these jars. 
as well. I made all these jars. Well, these are some of your own. I just printed them out. Some of my left single and some of them I left open so we could make little booklets out of them. Some I did black and white and put blue ink on so it looks cool, right? I love it. So we're gonna put those in. These are geraniums, I think they're called. They're new. Or chrysanthemums? Chrysanthemums. I can't remember what she calls these. What are these, chrysanthemums? Yeah, that's not a geranium, so. <clears throat> so I did a bunch of these too, so you know. I got a lot to put in, a lot to make up and do right now. As you can see, I got everything laying all around, so. Shoot! And then, I have this junk, and I'm gonna put this in too. All my stuff in the kitchen, bags and celeries and banana stuff. Garbage from the kitchen, you know. For the life of me, I'm still trying to find the dang stamp and I can't. So that's really dumb. And then I gotta come and do some wax seals because I got blue. Cannot believe. Can't find it. Huh. Well, shoot. Anyway. Anyway, so I'll get some more stuff done and then I'm going to go copy stain these envelopes so I can make this. I'll sign my stamp. I'll gesso these. And then I'll come back and, man, i got to do some Rolodex cards. Seriously. I could do... No. I could do something else on these, though. I was thinking I need some more yellow flowers, maybe. Right? But I love this paper. I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to do. And then I want some crackle. So I was thinking about doing something with these, too with some ads on the top and sewing it around so this sticks out, you know? So we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. And then I have this blue stripe bag that looks like food, so I'm gonna use this too. Hey, I wonder if this fits in. That would. That would fit in kind of cute with some food stuff. It looks like a deli bag, doesn't it? It's kind of cute. So anyway, I got all this to do. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna order the, yeah, I got them on order, I know. I sold out so fast, I know. I got them on order so they'll be back and I, I only could get like five at the time, it was stupid. So, and then I didn't know, you know, if you guys would like it or not either, so. So I wasn't sure, but, but anyways, I got this next to do, so. So I'm going to go have breakfast and walk my dog again, and then I'll come back later, okay? Bye!